I'm so delighted that uh, I, I received uh, this morning this report, report to us and leaders. And I would like to say to all of you that I will be a champion to implement your recommendations. Although my term of office will expire as an expiry date, in practical terms, within two days, in fact. But I will continue to champion this because some of the recommendations are actually very, very doable. And ASEAN business travel card. Why can't we do it and do it like tomorrow? If APEC can do it, why can't ASEAN do it? It's as simple as that. And you know, you know the sense that when you arrive at an airport, and you see the sign, ASEAN Lane. It's a feeling that you will have that as a member of ASEAN, as someone from the region, it means something. And this is what, to me, the next stage of our journey as we declare ourselves as a community is to have that feeling inside us, the feeling of being ASEAN. It will take a long time, it will take years and even generations, but we have to begin that journey now. And that is one recommendation. There are many others. And I strongly believe that if we can do it, make it easier for business to operate, remove non-tariff barriers, non-tariff measures, promote small, medium enterprises, micro-enterprises, make them operate beyond national boundaries within ASEAN, freer movement of skilled personnel, making sure that if you have surplus professionals in one country, let them work in another ASEAN country. Make it easier for our students to study one year in another ASEAN country at least. Mutual recognition of degrees. These are things that are actually very, very doable. And let us do it. And let us do it as soon as possible to bring that meaning to the concept of ASEAN as a community.